5 minute guitar lessons. In today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play Eric Clapton's Wonderful Tonight. We'll start by taking a look at the chords in the verse. The chords in order are G, and for that we can strum all six strings, then D over F sharp, and there's two ways to play this. Some people play it like this, you end up playing a D chord with all the fingers but your index, and then you put your index on the low F sharp here, strum all six strings, or you can just play it in a simpler way. You just play it like this without your pinky and you don't strum the highest string there. The next chord is gonna be C and for C we can strum five strings and then finally a regular D chord, four strings on that one. The verse consists of four measures which are just the four chords we went over. Let's strum through it just doing four down strokes for each chord. G to D over F sharp, then a C, and a D after that. G, G to D over F sharp, then C. In this song, we can either do a regular strumming pattern that just consists of downs and ups, or we can pick it. Now let's take a look at the regular strumming pattern. I'm going to play a G chord, and it's going to go down, up, down, up, up, down. Here it is. Down, up, down, up, up, down. Down, up, down, up, up, down. I'll do it a bit slower. Let's try this with the chords from the verse. Two, three, four. D over F sharp. C to D. Again. Down, up, down, up, up, down. Down, up, down, up, up, down. Now I'm going to show you the picking pattern on a G major chord. I'm using my thumb because it's easier to see, but you should use a pick. And finally, we'll do that same pattern, same chords, but I'll use a pick. Three, four. So now let's take a look at the chorus for Wonderful Tonight. The chords in order are C, then D, and then for these next two chords, they share a bar. So they actually only do half the strumming pattern for each. So that was G and D over F sharp. And then that goes to an E minor, which is the only chord we haven't played yet in this song. And then after E minor, we play C again, then D, and then it's back to the same chords for the verse, and you play the lead over top of that part. So we're going to use the same strumming pattern from the verse, and let's slowly play through the chords to the chorus, starting on a C. Two, three, four, C. The only part we haven't gone over yet is the bridge. The bridge starts out the same way as the chorus. It goes C to D, 
then we have the thing where we play G and D over F sharp and they share a bar, then E minor. And then here's where it gets different. Then it goes C to D, C to D again. And that's it. So let's try that out with the strumming pattern that we've been using the whole time. Two, three, four, C to D. show you the lead using tab which you'll see in the corner. If you're unfamiliar with how to read tab, check the description. There's a link to a video where I explain how to read it. Also if you want a copy of the tab for this lead part, there's a link in the description for that too. First I'll play the whole lead so you can get an idea of how it goes. We start by putting our ring finger on the 10th fret of the B string. Here's the first phrase. It starts with a bend, a release, down to our index, then back to our ring, all on the B string. The next phrase is very similar, but it goes down to the 9th fret of the G string. Let's check it out. So very similar, but instead of going back up to there, it goes down to the ninth fret of the G string. And the final phrase, the longest phrase, starts out the same way as the first one. And then you slide up to the 12th fret, 13, 12th fret on the high E string, 10th fret. Let's try that one more time. So thanks for checking out this video. That was Wonderful Tonight by Eric Clapton. I'll see you guys next time.